The Board of Trustees at Florida A&M will meet tomorrow to discuss the suspected hazing death of a member of the marching band. The board could also determine the fate of the university president. Anna Werner asked the school president about what appears to be a history of hazing at the school. Moments after an anti-hazing assembly at the university, Florida A&M President James Ammons defended how his school has handled hazing on campus. Why hasn't the university done more to stop hazing before this? The university has had a zero tolerance of hazing. Police suspect hazing played a role in the death of 26-year-old drum major Robert Champion. He was found unresponsive on a marching band bus last month. Robert and Pam Champion are his parents. We send soldiers overseas to fight for us, and we know that it, the possibility that they might be in harm's way. And, but when you send your, your kids to college, you don't think that they're gonna, they're gonna, he going to come back in a body bag. Students have described a routine of ritual hazing for members of the famed Marching 100. Former band director Julian White told CBS News he suspended two dozen band members for hazing just days before Champion's death. White, who was fired last week, says he repeatedly asked administrators to take stronger action to stop hazing. Did I make those recommendations? Yes, I did. Were they followed? For the most part, no. There have been dozens of students suspended from the band. What more did it have to take? One of your own students here asked why it took someone dying, essentially, to get this to happen. Every allegation of hazing has been fully investigated and appropriate disciplinary actions have been taken. Today, we showed the champions what the university president said. Is that good enough? No, it's not good enough. If he's saying we followed all the guidelines and what the statutes are, then that means they, those guidelines and statute needs to be changed because it doesn't work. And the champions say a criminal investigation won't be enough for them either. They have put Florida A&M on notice that they'll be filing a lawsuit. Anna Werner, CBS News, Atlanta.